This is Warp CLI, a tool that lets you use some of Warp's awesome features in any terminal environment for doing things like using saved prompts, using different agent profiles, or running tools from MCP servers using all the latest models with a generous free tier. But if you're a diehard Ghosty or iTerm user, is this enough to pull you away from that into the world of Warp? I don't know, let's find out. And before we do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Warp CLI is currently in beta, so this documentation might change in the future. But after installing it, you should be able to run the warp command, which opens up a new warp terminal and shows the logs in the terminal you opened it in. This is actually West term, even though it has the same theme as warp terminal. I could run a basic prompt with warp agent run, add the prompt flag and give it a prompt of what model is this, which will start a new conversation and then give me the response. Right now, running single shot prompts is only a tiny bit useful, but check this out. In the actual warp terminal, I have access to a bunch of saved workflows and saved commands. So if I wanted to run, say this start script command, I would first need to get its ID, which I can do by copying the link, pasting it here and copying these characters. Then inside West term or any other terminal environment, I can run warp agent run with the saved prompt flag, paste in the ID and hit enter. This will again start a new conversation with a unique ID and then run the exact prompt. I could do the same for running a workflow, but the process is a bit more complicated. To do that, I'd again need to get the ID of the workflow, which are these characters at the end and run the command warp agent run with the prompt flag and then give it a prompt to run this workflow inside angle brackets. Note the workflow has some arguments, which we can add like this. Now, if we run the prompt, we can see it adds the argument correctly and begins to process my file. Note, as well as running workflows, you can run notebooks and rules that exist inside your warp drive. This is super useful for running prompts like this in a CI/CD pipeline in a remote server or by creating a bash file to run a series of prompts and workflows together. But you may have noticed Warp CLI doesn't allow you to change models or update permissions. This is where agent profiles come in. In Warp, if I go to settings, then click on AI and scroll down, you can see I have two agent profiles, the default and GPT-5, which is forced to use the GPT-5 model for planning and execution. Inside West term, I can run the command Warp agent profile list, and it will show me the list of profiles along with their ID, meaning I can run the command Warp agent run with the profile flag set to the profile ID, followed by the prompt flag and a prompt, which will give me this response. This is a similar way to how MCP servers work, where you can run the command warp MCP list to see the available servers with their unique IDs. And then you can run an MCP server like this with a related prompt. Speaking of MCP servers, if you haven't already checked it out, go and check out the better stack one which is great for setting up charts, telemetry, and everything you'd want to do inside the better stack UI. So I could grab the context seven MCP server and write the command warp agent run with the MCP server flag, add the ID, and then add a prompt, like show me how to create a client component in Next.js, which uses the context seven MCP server to show me how to do just that. So there you have it, a very quick run through of the warp CLI. Currently, it's great for one off commands since it creates a new conversation ID each time. But if you want something a bit more longer running, then you'd have to use the actual warp terminal. Also, using long IDs for saved prompts and agent profiles isn't very intuitive, but I'm sure the team are working on ways to fix this. Personally, I'd love it if warp went in the direction of open code and open code zen, giving you a terminal user interface, allowing you to talk to models and also giving you a set group of models that you can get access to if you add your billing details. What do you think of Warp CLI? Is it something you're going to check out or are you just gonna to stick to Claude code? Let me know in the comments. And if you loved this video, you'll definitely love this one where I talk about my top six favorite Warp terminal features.